Tiffany Montgomery says that God has not convicted her regarding using the D word, referring to a male's part. And she said that once he convicts her, she will apologize publicly. But here's the thing. God has already convicted her. Or he should have convicted her the moment the body of Christ came to her and said, hey, you shouldn't be using that word. It's an offensive word. It's offensive to us. He said that it is not a curse word, but it is coarse language. And it is very offensive to a lot of people. And it's triggers for a lot of people who've been through a lot of things in life. Romans 14 and 15 says, but if thy brother be grieved with thy meat, now walkest thou not charitably? Destroy him not with thy meat for whom Christ died. Let not then your good be evil spoken of. That passage of scripture is not only referring to actual meat, but it's talking about the doings. If what you're saying or doing is offensive to your brother, then out of love and respect, you just don't do it. She also said that she was using the D word dumb because she said if she used penis dumb, it wouldn't make any sense. She said D word dumb is actually the appropriate language because she said it refers to someone who's in a relationship with a man who basically she's developed strong ties with someone who she knows she shouldn't be dealing with. She knows that he's not treating her right, but she can't let him go. She said to use the word penis uh, would be inappropriate because penis means you're in a relationship with someone who respects you, who loves you, who's going to honor you. Not true. If you're in a relationship with someone who you're fooling around with and you shouldn't be, who you're sleeping around with and you shouldn't be, the Bible calls you not D word dumb, but a fornicator or an adulterer. That's the biblical term for it. If you are in a relationship with a man who respects you, who loves you, who honors God, who's married you, and you all are in a marriage together, then you are husband and wife. You are man and woman. You are children of God. That's biblical terminology. The problem with a lot of teachers today is that they're so busy trying to keep up with the culture, they've abandoned the principles of Christ. When God makes us over, he makes all things new, including our manner of speech. You do not put new wine into old skins because eventually it's going to burst. A lot of times what explodes are so many blessings that can come our way, including family, finances, and ministry. Stand on Bible science.